bumpy, not that good. That's how Leland resident Jennifer Shaw describes riding over the Cape Fear Memorial Bridge. She works at the Scotchman off Highway 133 and agrees something needs to be done to make the drive smoother, but worries an upcoming year-long maintenance project could slow down commute times. I mean, if you're, you're doing a 15-minute ride to get into Wilmington and it'll take you like an hour and a half, not good. But Pat Battleman with Wilmington Urban Area Metropolitan Planning says the $13 million overhaul is necessary. The weather that we've had and throughout the years, it takes a beating. And of course, with the, with the kind of structure that it is, it, there's some delicate parts that have to be maintained. Crews will replace the grid deck and repair steel and concrete, among other things. The work is expected to be done primarily overnight, but that could change after Labor Day. Once we start replacing the uh, grading on the deck, you, you can't have traffic on the bridge. So any any decking that needs to be replaced, um, we're more than likely going to have to close the bridge down completely. Battleman says it's critical to take care of the existing bridges because the proposed billion-dollar Cape Fear crossing bridge is still many years away. This state doesn't have that kind of money for one project. So until then, the Cape Fear Memorial, along with the Isabel Homes, the new I-140 bridges, will have to get the job done. We just hope this project is done quicker. And you'll start to notice those overnight lane closures beginning next month, and NCDOT says they expect to wrap up the project by April of 2019. For now, in Wilmington, I'm Brandon Shope for Spectral News.